Hey, millionaire, we're all here because we share a dream, and that dream is winning the lottery. We can only imagine what our life would be like if we won a huge jackpot, but I'm gonna guess it would be pretty great. But even though winning the lottery can't be bad, some winners' lives don't exactly go to plan after all that cash lands in their account. Too many winners seem to end up even more broke than before they hit the jackpot. David Lee Edwards is one of those people. Let's take a closer look at exactly what happened to Edwards after his big lottery win. David Lee Edwards was born in Ashland, Kentucky. He hasn't had the easiest time as an adult. He was a well-known criminal convicted of armed robbery, but holding up banks at gunpoint is no small crime, and he said he'd spent about a third of his life in jail. He was already 46 years old in 2001 when his life changed. At the time, he was flat broke. He'd borrowed some cash from a friend to pay his water bill, and when he saw he had some change, he spent it on a pizza and $7 worth of lottery tickets. He had no idea he'd picked all the right numbers, but he'd just gone from broke criminal to a multi-millionaire worth $27 million. He accepted his Powerball check in front of rows of media cameras. With his fiance by his side, he took the chance to make a heartfelt speech. He said this win was a poor man's dream come true, and in a world where so many people have nothing, he was determined to use this money wisely. He made sure everyone knew he wanted to take this opportunity to secure a stable future for his young daughter. It sure looked like he was going to use this as a chance to turn his life around. It would have been a great story if Edwards used his millions for good, but that's not how the story goes. He took the prize as a lump sum, and cleverly, he did hire a lawyer and financial advisor to help him out. That's the sort of thing we're always told can stop you from going broke. We can only guess if he really meant what he said in his speech, or if it was all a lie. Either way, even if he meant to use his money wisely, he didn't. He immediately took out a $240,000 loan for a huge party in Las Vegas. I have no problem using some of your winnings to celebrate. After all, it's not every day you win the lottery. But that sure sounds like a lot of cash to spend on one party. It's a lot of money for someone who said he wouldn't spend his winnings on luxury. Within five days, he was already out of money and phoning his lawyer to ask for more. His advisor later told the media that Edwards could have lived a great life if he had listened to his advice. In fact, the amount he advised Edwards to spend was $85,000 per month. That sure seems like a life of luxury to me. But Edwards clearly wasn't happy with that because he burned through $3 million in just the first three months. And it was all going on the luxury items he swore he wouldn't purchase when he made his winner's speech. The spending spree started with a 6,000 square foot mansion in Palm Beach, Florida, worth $1.6 million. Not only was it located in a private gated community, but it came equipped with a tennis court and a private golf course. But apparently, that wasn't enough space because Edwards immediately bought another $600,000 home close by. Then he started buying luxury cars to fill up his driveway, $1 million worth, including a $200,000 Lamborghini Diablo and a $90,000 Dodge Viper. He bought so many that his neighbors complained about his house looking like a car lot. For most people, a collection of luxury cars would be enough transport for one lifetime, but Edwards topped it off with a private Learjet, costing him another $1.9 million. And he just kept spending. There was cash flowing out of his account faster than he could count. $30,000 for a plasma TV, $78,000 for a gold and diamond watch, and then $159,000 for a ring. It seemed like he got a bit addicted to buying useless stuff because he was soon filling his life with antiques, swords, and even three losing racehorses. Then, he paid his ex-wife five hundred dollars for custody of their daughter, and when he had her in his mansion, he bought her a $35,000 Hummer golf cart, even though she was only 11 years old. It won't surprise you that within just one year of winning, he had already spent an incredible $12 million. Would you go on a spending spree if you won a jackpot as big as the one Edwards got? Tell us in the comments, and keep watching to find out what happened. In his defense, he had tried to invest some of his cash. He'd purchased a fiber optics installation business and a limo service for a grand total of $4.5 million. But Edwards had one more interest that was burning up cash, drugs, and lots of them. He and his wife were arrested multiple times for possession of crack cocaine, heroin, and illegal prescription drugs. 
The drugs alone were expensive, but the trips to rehab ate even bigger holes into his wallet. There are also rumors of Edward supplying large quantities of drugs to his friends. Sadly, many of them overdosed on the drugs Edwards gave them. When that happened, Edwards would step in to pay for their funerals. We can only guess how their families felt about that. He and his wife were getting on the wrong side of the police, but their bank balance was in even bigger trouble. Their problem got even worse when they contracted hepatitis by sharing needles. If you think things couldn't get any worse, you're wrong. It was now 2006, five years after Edward's big win, and he was now flat broke. His financial advisor had invested 16 million of Edward's money a few years before to make sure Edward's didn't spend it. But by this time, it was too late for that money to help. At most, it paid off some of Edward's debts, but it wasn't enough to keep him off the street. He still owed thousands of dollars to a whole collection of people. Edward's and his wife left the mansion and moved into a storage unit. This was all they could afford, but it was a sure sign of Edward's fall from grace. He was on so many drugs that he probably didn't care that he was living in a dump surrounded by rotting food, syringes, and his own excrement. But it eventually became too much for his wife. She left him and remarried, but rumor has it she never escaped her drug addiction. But where was Edward's daughter while all this was happening? While Edward's had money, he enrolled her in a fancy private academy so she could receive some of the best education money could buy. But it didn't go very far. When Edwards ran out of money, she went to work as an amusement store clerk somewhere in West Virginia. In the end, the only one willing to help Edwards was his first wife. When she heard he was in real trouble, she came to get him. Her new husband helped her to drive Edwards from Florida to a hospice in Kentucky. But even though she put in all that effort, Edwards sadly died in the hospice at the age of just 58. Edwards had made some big promises in his public winner's speech. He said he was going to turn his life around and make sure his daughter had everything she needed for a great life. But in the end, he didn't stick to even one of those promises. When he died, he didn't have even one cent left for his daughter to inherit. Maybe he meant all those things when he was standing in front of the cameras, but that didn't help him much in the long run. But maybe he always intended to live a flashy life after suddenly becoming rich. But even though he lived his last days penniless and filthy, we can learn a thing or two. If you're ever lucky enough to win a multi-million dollar jackpot like Edwards, it's probably a good idea to listen to your financial advisor. They can't help you manage your wealth if you're spending all your cash on more cars than you'll ever have time to drive. 